Hey everyone, welcome back. We are going to cook supper tonight together. As you can see behind me, it's still daylight outside. It's only about a little after 4.30, but I decided to go ahead and get it going early because I have to um, make a pound cake for a friend. So, we're going to get started on our main supper, and then when all of that is finished and... I can kind of relax. We'll start on the pound cake. Okay, y'all. We are going to get to cooking. We are doing a recipe that I got from my my aunt years and years ago. Uh, it all comes together in one pot. Um, right now on the back, I, I have some macaroni and cheese cooking. It's just the kind out of the blue box. You make it according to the instructions and then just set it off to the side. <clears throat> this is, I guess this would be kind of a goulash. Um, anyway, it's very good. We're going to make it tonight. So, um, we're going to start with our pound of ground meat, which we're using venison. And we're going to uh, also add in a chopped onion and get this to browning. Okay, here we go. Get this turned around. Now, I'm going to let this cook for just a little bit before I add in the onion because um, it's going to cook a little bit more. So, the onion will be done, you know, by the time everything else is, is going in here. So, I'm just going to kind of work on this for just a second and then we'll add our onion in. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 425 because we're going to do cornbread with this as well. This was just a medium onion that we chopped up. All going in. Trying to get that onion broke up and get to cooking. Now I'm going to go ahead and let my macaroni boil over. This happens every time. some salt to our ground meat and onion. Maybe. Almost out. Gotta get me started. Alright. I'm kind of working with a big skillet here tonight and that is strictly because we're going to be adding more things to this pan. So we will add a can of whole kernel corn and we will also add a can of diced tomatoes. Now my aunt puts bell pepper in hers but as I've told you before I'm just not a fan of bell pepper so I just always leave that out. You do you. Your kitchen, your rules. And then once our macaroni is done and we put our little packet of cheese and our other goodies in that, 
uh, we will also add our macaroni to this as well. So, all right, I think this can cook for a while on its own. Let's get started on the cornbread. We're going to start on our cornbread. I'm going to go ahead and crack this egg in here because this is a fresh egg and I just really don't want to crack it in a separate bowl to get another thing dirty. So we're just going to start like that. We're going to add probably about a cup and a half, maybe a cup. Cornmeal just kind of depends on how we feel. And I'm terrible about measuring when I do my cornmeal because I have done it so many years just by look and feel. All right. going to add some buttermilk. We're using our Beeson Family Farm buttermilk. That's our local farm. And again, I just eyeball it. I will add more if I need it. Maybe a half a cup. And I did go ahead and add few tablespoons of bacon grease as well. And that is cornbread. We do not add sugar to our cornbread. Alright, we're going to add it to our iron skillet. And as soon as our oven comes up to temp, we will throw that in. Our meat is done and looks like our macaroni is finished too. Alright, to our macaroni, we're going to go ahead and add some butter. I do not have sweet milk on hand so I'm just going to let what little liquid is in there just stay in there and then we're going to mix in our cheese packet and I like using the real butter okay cool. and 
we may add just a little bit more liquid in here just to get this kind of creamy. some salt. Got our macaroni salted, creamed together. Probably should have cooked that al dente. Didn't really think about it because usually I'm cooking it for a four-year-old that wants it done. But so it may get a little bit too soft in this, but that is okay because it will still be good. Let's start adding our ingredients to our meat and onions. Okay, y'all hang with me. This is where it gets complicated. Yeah, right. We're going to add in our, this is usually diced tomatoes, but these are diced and crushed. I have one more can of these and they will be gone. I'm going to ban our whole kernel corn, whole thing. And let's see if we can get our macaroni in there and get everything stirred around. Okay. Our oven is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our cornbread in the oven. That's probably gonna cook for maybe 20 minutes. We just mix all this together. And again, I should have made my, my macaroni al dente, but this will be fine. This will be fine. We're gonna let this cook for just a little bit, kind of just heat everything through, wait on our cornbread to get ready, and supper will be done quick, easy, no fuss, something that's good, it's a comfort food. There we are. We'll adjust for salt, and I'm gonna add some pepper to this as well. And you can always, if you want, add a little bit more cheese. You can add the bell pepper. You could add whatever you wanted to this and make it your own. Okay, we're gonna just let that cook for just a little bit until our cornbread gets ready. Okay, our supper is done. We're gonna go ahead and eat, and then I will start on our pound cake. We're gonna cut up our cornbread so we can get it on a plate. Okay, here it is. Let's dig in. Okay, y'all, supper was great. I am well pleased with how that turned out. Now we're going to move on to making the pound cake for my friend. We're going to try a recipe called a Million Dollar Pound Cake. This recipe is actually coming from Southern Living Home Cooking Favorites. I will share this recipe down below. 
but we're going to start with that. We'll be using our mixer, so it's a little dark over here. Got to work with that, but um, let's get started on that. Okay, we are going to start this pound cake. It calls for a pound of butter softened. So that is four sticks of butter. So what we're gonna do is just empty this butter into our mixing bowl. We're going to cream, we're going to beat this at medium speed until light yellow in color and creamy. So let's go ahead and get it locked down. Okay, now we're going to gradually add our sugar. We're going to have three cups of sugar. So we're gonna slowly pour this in as we mix until it becomes light and fluffy. And this will also be beating at a medium speed. Okay, we're gonna add six large eggs, one at a time, and then we're gonna beat until the yellow disappears after each addition. Now I'm not gonna promise that the yellow is gonna disappear, but here we go. We are going to slowly start adding our flour, alternating with our milk, beginning with our flour and ending with our flour. And of course, flour is probably going to go everywhere. Okay, we have it mixed up. I'm gonna scrape the sides down, give it one more whirl, and we're gonna put it in our pan. Okay, we have got a bunt pan ready to go. It is well greased. We're gonna pour our filling into that. Our oven is preheated at 300 degrees and we are going to have to cook this for an hour and 40 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. So let's get it into our butt pan. Okay, y'all, let's get it into our butt pan. And we have this bunt pan sitting on a cookie sheet because you never know when these things are going to overflow. So always better safe than sorry. 
I would rather clean up a pan than the oven. Okay. Oh, let's see what happens, y'all. It looks pretty from here. Okay, it is finished. Look how much it rose. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, now to see if this sucker will turn out. Wish me luck. Lord, y'all. Finally, it's not the greatest, but it's there. That is not torn, it's just a light spot. But it is out. Thank goodness. Thanks for joining me tonight. Y'all have a great night. See you next time.